So the world of athletics has taken, shall we say, a massive javelin through the chest in recent days, with a report calling out widespread cheating across the sport. And not just a few instances of it either. We're talking 12-year-old boy discovering the code to turn Sims naked, regular levels of cheating. I don't know if you're someone who follows sporting news, but in terms of how serious this scandal is, we're talking a big bookmark in sporting history, likely bigger than the downfall of Lance Armstrong. The allegations made by the World Anti-Doping Agency could lead to Russia being banned completely from Rio 2016, and they also mean that certain London 2012 medals won by Russia were earned about as honestly as they earned Crimea in 2014. And that means this isn't only a disaster for Russia, but also a massive one for the UK. You can't ruin London 2012 for us. It was the only chance we as a country had to feel important again on the world stage. If it weren't for the Olympics, we would have reverted back to being an empire by now, with warrior queen Katie Hopkins leading us in a war to take back Canada. We can't just treat this as an another chance to accuse Russia of being corrupt, because these drug allegations land us, as the Olympic hosts, firmly in the shit ourselves. Although thinking back to London 2012, it actually makes more sense now learning that huge amounts of drugs were involved. The man who revealed all of this in the independent report by WADA is the rather fittingly named Dick Pound. So, why has Dick left the Russians feeling sore? Well, this report places many Russian officials in the middle of this controversy, in a very humiliating way, like Grigory Rodchenko director of Moscow's anti-doping lab. An inspection team came to visit Rodchenko at the lab in December of last year, when they noticed that over 1,400 blood samples taken from athletes had mysteriously disappeared. Rodchenko's explanation for this was that he had decided to do some cleaning up to prepare for WADA's visit because everyone knows that getting rid of large amounts of blood in advance of the authorities coming around has never been considered suspicious behaviour. Another part of the report mentions Rodchenko's sister, Marina. According to a confidential witness, Russian police caught his sister. She had a prison sentence. It seems ludicrous that the head of the anti-doping lab sister was found guilty of dispensing performance-enhancing drugs. It's incredible that he is still there. Now, to be honest, I think this part of the report is wildly unfair. Being the head of an anti-drug organisation whilst an immediate family member deals drugs at the same time is perfectly normal, if my knowledge of Breaking Bad is anything to go by. For some, this is just part of a long line of events that suggests that sport institutions the world over can't be trusted. From the FIFA bribery prosecutions to the Tour de France doping scandal, as well as Arsene Wenger's prediction that football will soon be engulfed by its own drug investigation, I think that when it comes to professional standards in sport, there's only one thing left to say. Fuck it all. It is time to give people the entertainment they truly want. Let's erect a huge dome around the Olympic Village, airlift every last athlete and footballer into the middle with as much drugs and weapons as they need, and get the 24-hour live coverage rolling. Let the first annual Hunger Games begin.